Today on Moving Day, our movers don't have to lift a finger as they move from city chic to country retreat. Welcome to Moving Day. Today we're in Chiswick, West London, to meet a top media and showbiz couple who are on the move in three days' time. It's a real escape to the country from the stresses and strains of London to the peaceful bliss of East Sussex. So, let's meet the movers. Meet John Roseman, girlfriend Danielle Sterry and dog Petronius. Danielle travels the world organising award ceremonies and John is a celebrity agent with over 30 years' experience representing familiar faces such as Roger Cook, Fern Britton and Penny Smith. Their London home makes a convenient base for the comings and goings of John's four children. But there'll be nowhere to crash once John and Danielle move to the country. Hi, I'm Sally. Hi. Hello, Sally. What happened to John? Oh, he's there. <laughs> okay, Mom. No. It's, it will be. We haven't got Aww. one. So you've got three days to go and then you're moving out of here. What, I'll, you never said. It's you... a bit frightening. Um... No, it's not funny, because everybody's doing all the packing and the unpacking for us, so we don't have to do anything. Oh, so, that bit, yeah. So a complete full right. service, you haven't got to do anything yourself? Absolutely nothing. I should just sit and watch telly. I, I did... John will do that, but <laughs> I wanted to... You know, I've got a collection of bits, little stuff, girls' stuff, that I've collected from my trips around the world. Have you got anything else that's odd-shaped or anything you're taking with you? Me? Apart from John. Weird and wonderful shaped things. There's, the, there's a wooden sculpture of me. There's a wooden sculpture, yes. I had this... Uh, Wooden sculpture of Danny made. Uh, it's very rude. I won't go into how she posed because he's a, he's a, it's daytime. He's an Italian television. sculptor. Uh, You're yeah, right. <laughs> All right, I think that's my cue. Cue to leave. <laughs> to go and have a look at these odd-shaped items and perhaps the... Um... No touching. OK, I'll, I'll look with my eyes only. Good luck, OK. Say. They're renting this house, so armed with an inventory, I'm going to see how much there is to take. Oof. First room, a very, very busy room indeed. This must be Danielle's office. Loads of box files and stuff. That's why I'm glad they're getting the full pack service. All this lot will just be taken care of. Loads of personal stuff in here as well. Loads of little knickknacks from many travels. Things like this light fitting as well. Stuff like that looks very personal. Not the kind of thing you'd get normally in rented accommodation. So that's going to have to be swapped over. Do remember, stuff like this, even your best removal company won't take it down for you. You need to sort it out yourself. It's an exciting time. But... She's dreading it. But for me, it's it's uh, nerve wracking because I get the impression with this move that you're not 100 percent behind this move. But John, you're raring to go. Danny, unfortunately, is a bit of a towny city person. Listen, Danielle moved from Newcastle to London for a reason. <laughs> Had all the countryside and the beach and everything within an arm's throw of of where I grew up. Another very grand room as well. Check out that mirror. I wonder if that's coming. Yep, it's on the list. Very nice indeed. And loads and loads and loads of books here. This must be John's little hideaway, his little office. But not only are the books coming, but all the bookshelves are as well, so quite a bit of packing to do there. That's definitely a full-service item. And over here, we've got the lovely wooden carving. Now, in this room, again, loads and loads of knick-knacks. Look like souvenirs picked up from around the world. Tons of music as well. That's heavy stuff that needs to be packed. Remember, don't put all the CDs in one box. You won't be able to lift it. Gavin, how'd you get on? Really well, actually. Fantastic house, very grand looking. It's a lovely big place, isn't it? Really good. Loads of nice fixtures and fittings. Yeah. Loads of knickknacks. Lots to move. Uh, not a problem. Full move, everything packed, stacked and shipped out they're of here. They're going for the deluxe package, lucky people. And yet, I have to say, even though they're getting it all done for them, they're very casual about the move. <laughs> they were having a dinner party for 12 people last night, as if nothing's happening in three days' time. Madness. I think I might check out what the real deal is with John. And I think Danielle is a hand with some of the stuff as well. It needs to be taken off the wall. Right, come on, let's go to it. Ah, so this is the hub of John Roseman's empire. Slap bang in the middle. Of your drawing room, John. Hello, darling. This is your space here in yes, the it is, sitting actually. area. And you're very lucky because I never let anybody stand where you're standing. Where is that? Behind the, the shop front? Where you are here, <laughs> yes. It's, I'm finding very uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. I like to be able to be here to rifle through all the papers. Uh, the tabloids arrived, checking up on celebrity clients. Uh, yeah, very lucky. Only one client in the paper today, and that was a quite a nice story. And, who, and who's that? That was Roger Cook, who's just had a metal knee installed. Enough about work. I want to know about the new house. We have a beautiful dining room. 
and we have uh, a lounge mm -hmm. and we have another room which is now my study so that is my study I can close the door and nobody gets to go in there this is your study thing, isn't it? Yes. Oh, how beautiful. I hope so. Now, here's the thing, John. This is going to be a rented house, isn't it? That is it? correct, yeah. And this house is rented as well. Yeah, because all that happened was years ago, after my wife died, I had to move to London. So we moved to London, and the office was put in, into the house as well. And so I was always there for the kids. And then when we decided to move again, uh, it just we just rented again. It became a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. That said, though, that Danny and I, touch wood, will buy our first property together, which will hopefully be in Italy in a couple of years' time. Oh, how fabulous. Not that she wants to live in Italy and not that she wants to live in Sussex. Meanwhile, Danielle wants to show me something in the bedroom. Favourite cupboard, I guess. This is it. The, the cupboard. shoe heaven. This is... <laughs> Does uh, John know that he's living with a millipede? I don't know if he ever notices. He notices when it comes in the, the full pack. You know? <laughs> oh, right. Now, these are my... <laughs> this is my gesture to going to... Moving out of London and living in the countryside because so many of my friends are saying, oh, when are you are getting your wellies? Are you getting your barber? And very no, if I'm having born. wellies, I'm wearing pink wellies. It's very to the manner born. So, um... Self-supportive when you get out there. You'll have, before you know it, you'll have, like, a little compost heap and everything. And these ones are obviously if you're... Uh, Popping to the local post office down there. I think so. Uh, the butcher, local butcher, I think that might might get me some extra. Do them in it? No, it they, that might get me some extra offcuts. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Um, so we so need a new place then. You need somewhere I've to put this. I've got this, this up. empty space that is useless. It's a useless use of the space in the master bedroom, and I'm hoping that maybe you might be able to. I mean, look, look. I mean, there's, my there's babies. A lot there. My baby's here. Okay. Are you a real hoarder? No, I don't hoard. When we moved last, I got rid of tons and tons of books, which I thought I would find very painful, mm. but I didn't. And a few moves back, in, in a previous life, I used to make music videos, and we had a huge skit when we moved, and I had all these one-inch masters, all these things that I had done, a lot of Eurythmic stuff, Bohemian Rhapsody, tons of stuff I'd done over the years. And as far as I was concerned, that was then, yeah. and this is now, so I just put them all in the skit. Are you telling me you got rid of the master copies? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's crazy yeah, stuff. Well, no, not really, because either they were worth nothing to me, I mean, either financially or emotionally. Whilst I owned the visual copyright, mm. I didn't own the music, uh, the actual music on it, so I couldn't actually do anything with it. But Danielle doesn't throw anything away. It is just... So do you try and throw things away behind her back? No way. What, and risk death? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So we'll be keeping all of these then. Better concentrate on packing them properly, which means using print-free tissue paper and a box of polystyrene chips to cushion them for the move. And while we're packing, Danielle worries about losing her friends. They've all promised me faithfully they're not going to let me just disappear and, Pop down. and start learning how to make jam. Not that that's a bad thing, but I just don't see myself doing it. Not you yet. You might actually enjoy it. I've got friends who've done that recently. They got married and they've had their kids and they thought, you know, I'll never do the jam making. And now they're making great jam. Making sponge cakes. They're quite happy. Maybe the yeah. smell of baking throughout the house will really get you going. I'd, I'd rather go and buy the jam from another country. I know you're terrible. I, I, brought marmalade. <laughs> I brought marmalade back from Sydney, Australia once. If I joked that I would come home from work one day and Danielle would... The smell of fresh bread would waft through. She hit me. Really? Yeah, so that ain't going to happen. Now, I've seen the wellies. She's fully equipped for the country The pink life. wellies, you've seen them. The yeah. pink wellies. Yes. It's a bit of, bit of um, Chiswick chic, <laughs> yes. I think it's the best way of describing it. Yes. Is that, do you reckon she's going to have that on actual moving day? She's going to be... We're going to see her in the morning, <laughs> Chiswick chic, afternoon, to she the might, matter born. She might very well put on the pink... Mind you, when I last saw her in the pink wellies, she was wearing a pink nightie as well. I think you ought to stop there, John. This is daytime. I have calls to make. <laughs> That's like going to be What about my honey raisin brown muffin, my double tall skinny cappuccino? Fix? I know. What am I going to do without my grand well, wet you know, cappuccino? Well, there is incentive Ooh. for me to make sure I stay in touch with. It's 50 minutes away in the train, you just have to keep thinking. Or I that. can jump in the you car. You can buy it and get it percolated at home, that's what I would oh, do. Oh, please. You can make your own lattes with these special things nowadays. You can froth up the milk and everything. Honestly, it's really quite nice, and you can still smell of the same coffee. Sally. Oh. Mm. I'm just trying. Thank you, thank you. Did you um, put them up yourself? No, I'm not allowed <laughs> to come near putting things up because uh, they'd fall down. I just have no you good at it at all. How about Useless. the shelves? How about the, shoe, the shelves for the shoes? Yeah, what about them? Did you put them in? Oh, yeah, right. No, I just get somebody in. It's a Jewish thing. OK, so you wouldn't do any of the DIY yourself at all? No way. Good job I'm here, then. I've taken the glass out to get the light fitting down safely and for moving... Always leave the light bulbs in them as well. 
because they'll probably survive the journey. And just getting a bit of quite industrial gaffer tape here. Tape over the top of it. So in effect, you're actually taping the glass into the light fitting, like so. Like that, and then a little bit at the end. Get the screws that fixed it to the wall. Stick them to the back. Then when we get to the other end, we're going to know where everything is. Off to you, Sal. Thank you, sir. Now, the fittings are down that Daniel wanted to remove, and mm -hmm. John's favourite lights are taken off the wall as well. Well done. Good move or bad move? Our favourite question. I think great move for John. He's spent the last 30 years power lunching, doing the showbiz thing, people. He needs to escape to the country, but Danielle, I'm not so sure. She's a West End girl. She loves her shopping. You know, how will she cope? I don't know. Stress buster for John, though. Yeah, but a new challenge for her. She has an adventurous spirit, so it could work out well for both of them. I hope so. Yeah, fingers crossed. It's the day before the move and the removal team have such a big job, they've started packing and loading already, leaving John free to deal with work. What's for dinner? They're having the deluxe removal service, which includes professional packing. As well as making life easier, this means the contents are properly insured by the removal company while in transit. With two large lorries filled, John and Danielle are left with only the bare essentials for their last night in the city. I will have a glass of champagne and light some pretty candles and look at some of my stuff and, and John will tell me everything's going to be OK. But it's not OK for John, who's left cleaning up after Petronius the dog. Oh, I should have gloves. I've had a manicure day before yesterday. Yeah. A man should look after his hands. Sometimes they're the only friend I've got. <laughs> I'm sure I shall cry at some point, probably soon as, as soon as I switch this off. Um, and then there might be a tear or two. I do love being here, but it's the next step. So, onwards. Coming up, John enjoys his first breath of fresh country air and his first taste of freedom. No, well, I don't really want him to come because it's just so peaceful here. And when the old missus gets here, oh, God. <clears throat> It's here. It's the morning of John and Danielle's moving day. They've had a removal team working hard here in West London for the last couple of days, so there's not actually that much left to do. So I'm here in Crowborough, East Sussex, awaiting the arrival of the removal team. And I've got a few last-minute jobs to do here before I join Gavin in the country. Eager to get to the country, John volunteered to collect the keys and is at the new house already. For all this peace, quiet and space, John and Danielle have more than half their rent to around £1,500 a month, allowing them to save for the dream home in Italy. Anyone home? No. Hello, John. How are you doing? Like the keys to the new life, dear. Oh, my God. I hope you'll be very happy here. See you. <laughs> You're staying oh, no, here. It's me. You've escaped the country, I tell you. This is rather impressive, isn't it? It's lovely, actually. Yeah, this is going to be the dining room. It's all... Is that oak? That's definitely oak, and that's all original. And this is the hub of activity. Well, yeah, it's going to be my study. And I don't... You remember the view we had in Chiswick? The now, main road, you mean? Yeah, the main road. And now I get to look at that. This is going to be fantastic. Back in the city, Danielle has a word of warning about dressing for moving day. Put all my clothes out for today. Mm. Knew that I wanted different clothes for today. Forgot socks. Oh. Everything gone, all the drawers emptied with the underwear and the socks. You see, you've got to pack with military precision. And as the last bit of packing gets underway, I find a couple of fragile items hiding upstairs. Ellie and Jenny! Here you are, girls. Oh. Hi. John's daughter Ellie and friend Jenny stayed over after a heavy night out. Are they in a fit state to help? Um, I presume that you're here for a bit of moral support to help your dad's girlfriend with the final bits in the move, Ellie? Um, yeah. Jenny, because you're there, do you want to do the bath? Okay. Like a good bath cleaner. You've got that look about you. And <laughs> what I've got to give you, this is a really good little tip actually, you could use a toothbrush for that prison camp moment. And um, you could perhaps add a little bit of this stuff with a bit of bleach. Yeah. So that's your normal kind of bathroom okay. cleaner, cream, and a bit of bleach, and get into those little grouting areas. No you can cope with that? Good yes. luck. Good, like your style. <laughs> and what are you going to do with your rubber um, gloves on? I don't think, I mean, I'm, 
Well, actually, I'm doing Danielle's makeup, so I probably do need to. <laughs> to keep your hands protected yeah, from exactly. all the extra powder. With a pod filler. I might attack the sink in a second because I can see a few stray hairs and dirty things. Oh, a little message on, on the mirror there. With brave hearts, they embraced the next adventure. I wonder who wrote that. I think that's Danielle. Yes, definitely. Oh, isn't that sweet? That's for John and Danielle for the next adventure. It's quite sweet, isn't it? Yes. Are you thinking this is a good move for your dad? He thinks it's a good move for him. Oh, you're not so sure. No. Why? I, I just think that it's, you know, three months down the line, he's going to be so bored and he's, it's not like he can go around the corner and go to London, you know, go into the West End and see people or us come round, you know. He's in the middle of nowhere. But in a way, that's what he wants. He's had enough. He thinks he wants. While I teach the girls how much fun cleaning can be, the removal team finish up and hit the road, leaving Danielle with an empty house. Actually, now that I see the place empty, it's like, I just want to get away. Really? Because it's like... The, the emotion in it has gone. It's all in, in the trucks. <laughs> Hello, no, my son. Still no sign of him yet? No, well, I don't really want him to come because it's just so peaceful here. And when the old missus gets here, oh, God. I feel the same about Sally. And we're not even together, well, officially, anyway. But they can talk, can't they? They care for, for, for England. A thing about the countryside is narrow lanes with hairpin bends, making this not so easy for the removal team. Employing a technique called transshipping, the guys load the stuff from the big lorries onto a transit to get it up to the house, rather them than me. I'll just get on with my shoe storage job. The shoe storage isn't a real problem, it's just the amount of shoes that we have to store here. Now the cupboard we've got's not too bad, because we've got a nice shelf here at a decent height, it's got plastic stuck on it, and it's all lined out. The shelf on the underside here, though, isn't fixed, so I'm thinking of getting rid of this. The solution I'm going to use to try and sort it out is a semi-permanent one, because I don't want to start doing complete built-in units with all pigeonholes back here, because after all the house is a rented property, and uh, you really have to check it out with the landlord to make sure you can do massive alterations. But just hanging a chrome pole underneath here, and then doing some bits to hang off of it, something like this, I hope will produce enough shoe storage, because you hang that up there, we just have to trim the bottoms off these, and these are all like a soft hessian material, so they won't damage any of the expensive shoes. Nice little job there, 27 pairs of shoes can fit on this rail alone. Then you've got all the space at the top and all the space at the front as well. Excellent job. The girls arrive and Danielle is keen to sort out her rooms. Don't know what I'll do with this space yet. So storage from, room kind of thing. Storage room or the room I send John to when he's bad. That's exactly what I was going to suggest. Isn't it funny how we're yeah, seeing all Yeah, now you've met him. I know, yeah. and he would fit into that room quite <laughs> yes, nicely Yes, he would. Too. Yes, he would. This room is going to be a dressing room. <laughs> he's not really be, smiling. Go going on. to be a dressing room and my work area. Having it as the guest bedroom and, you know, hoping people will stay. And this room is only going... I think her English is coming on really well. Actually, she's I'm lots of so tired, you I'm rodent. <laughs> this room is going to be. Um, what is this room going to be? This room is going to. This is the room that's going to be my dressing room. No, that's no. not right. You're getting confused. That's I'm the other room. This is the guest bedroom. This will be Danielle the guest bedroom. Danielle doesn't actually know what this room's going I'd, to be. It's been a long week. <laughs> bon surprise! Oh my goodness! Look what he's done. Wow, <gasps> that's. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm really jealous. That's of this. absolutely brilliant. I yeah, need something like be... this. Every woman needs this. Glamorama. Oh, oh. These are beautiful. Ah, uh, well, yeah, evening shoes, obviously. Perfect for walking the dog and this yes. neighborhood through all the fields yes. and uh, As will these <laughs> also be perfect for. Um... Oh, they're lovely. Look at that lovely leather and everything. Mm. Look, should we start putting them into the beautiful. Yes, new please. I want to see them in their new home. Gavels. I want them to acclimatize. I don't know where the other pairs are. Okay, well, how about there's oh, a matching yes. one? Should we put them in first? Yes. While we do the important unpacking, the removal team get on with the rest of the stuff. Beautiful. The shoes are done, but the removal team have another day's work ahead of them, so they'll be back tomorrow. Leaving me to put up Danielle's ingenious wall-mounted saucepan rack and Ellie to tidy the kitchen. Well, sort of.
I think that John is really happy here. He's chirpy and childlike. He's loving this house. Even from first thing this morning, he's just so de-stressed. It's been such a long day, hasn't it? Have you got the gift organised? I've been got something local, a bit of mm. pine furniture, very country chic. Contemporary country chic. We love it. Should we give it to them, the let's, gift? Let's go. Let's do it. Come on then, guys, and you come. Come, come through. We want to give you a housewarming gift. Wow. Come through, are you I ready you for this? John, come right round oh, come here, come please. Here, come here, Danielle, yeah, yeah. Ellie Jeez. Richard, <laughs> please. Yeah, yeah. After three. One, One two, two, three. Ta-da. Oh, oh, lovely. Perfect. Thank you. That's really great. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it from today's moving day here in the beautiful countryside of East Sussex. If you're about to move house, then why not check out our website, itv.com slash moving day. So from the Roseman clan, Sally and myself, Good day. Good day, my dear. Muzzle top. Right, cheers. Muzzle top. Muzzle top. Muzzle top. To all. <laughs> Since the move, Danielle hasn't found her knicker drawer, but she's discovered there are shops in nearby Tunbridge Wells, and John and Danielle aren't missing London at all.